Hi everybody, I'm Ben from the Bonehead Podcast and today I have got some products to review. So Chaos Factory kindly sent us some bits and bobs to have a look at and share with you. We saw some of the work they were doing on the score markers and things and, and, and flagged up that they looked really, really, really good. And um, now we've ended up with a whole bunch of stuff to show you. So bit by bit, we'll go through, have a quick look, and hopefully you can get a good idea of just how great these products are. So first things first, I've got my human blitzer here for scale. So when I go through these products, you can see just how big they are. And the first products we're going to talk about are these dice cups. So we have got the Chaos Dwarf cup, and it's called Rat on the website, but that means Skaven, as everybody knows. Look at that. So look at the quality of this. This is real leather from the looks of it, uh, triple layered. So it makes a lovely noise when you rattle it in there. Look at the stitching, it's beautifully made. You've got the cool stitching at the back, it looks like a van brace from a Viking, it's very, very, very cool. These are on the website for 23 euros. And as you can see, they are really well put together. And if you're in the market for a dice cup, even the dice agree that these are wonderful. And as for size, you could fit a whole load of stuff in there. The size between that and I'm, I'm genuinely covering up the painting there because this is a bit of a rush job. But these are really, really, really nice. And if dice cups are your thing, so these are 23 euros, for one euro more, we have got the Dark Elf dice cup. Look at that, look at that etching on there, with lid. So for a euro more, you get that. Look at the stitching, look at the quality. Again, we've got the logos on the bottom and it's beautifully, beautifully put together. This is only two layers, not the three of the other cups. It's about the same size, but it is a bit bigger. So if you wanted to carry a bunch of your dice around, this would do an absolutely super job. Boom. So really, really love these, and they've got that beautiful leather smell. Really well put together. The next thing we're gonna look at is the dugout. So this is made of mouse mat material, which means it can roll up for transport, which is pretty brilliant. Um, the print quality is really good. So I know that people out there have been stung by mouse mat material and it's 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 fabricy, it's not glossy, which means it shows up well for camera, which is fantastic. So I'm interested in that. But it's also smaller than a, than, a, than a normal dugout that comes with the cardboard pitches. So if you are playing in a smaller area, these are fantastic. And if you have a gaming bag, this is you know just as likely to fit in there without taking up very much space. Also, you know, you've got your, your quiet rolling. And if for some reason you have a mouse, it would work on it. However, so you've got the reserves, knocked out and dead and injured. You've got a throwing template there sorry, a scattered template, which is fantastic. So who else has sat down to a match and sat there and they've gone without one and, and then you've got to try and figure it out. Really like that, I think that's very useful. But there appears to be something missing. We've got re-roll markers, we've got turn markers, plenty of space, so this is the Ogre one. So it's a cool design, there's lots of different designs on there. And these are 13 euros, I think. Have a look at the website, but it's around about that. But yeah, there's no score. And the reason there is no score is because we also have these products here that have been sent, which are the score markers. So these score markers are the reason I think we flagged up and said, oh my goodness, these are great. What, what are these products you're doing? And it might be one of the first things we saw from Chaos Factory. These are six euros each. It's fantastic. So look at the quality. So the print quality is fantastic, as you can see. You've got the wheels, I've had a play, and I think anybody who scores seven touchdowns is very impressive. And if you score more than seven touchdowns, well, I don't know how you're doing it. Um, you've got visitors, you've got that. It comes with a little plastic plug on the bottom, so you can play it flat if you want, but you can also pop it on the bottom and you can stand it up right there. So you've got your, your small dugout and you've got a very small, in terms of table space, score marker. But, um, it's more than clear, more than clear enough. So excellent art, excellent print quality. And check out the back. We've got a throwing template, we've got the kickoff table, and we've got the weather table there as well. So that's the Nurgle one. We also have the Bretonian one. So 
Chaos Factory are churning stuff out at the moment. They've got lots of different um, dice cups, lots of different mouse mats, and I think I think there's only a couple of these at the moment, but look at them. They are absolutely gorgeous. And for six euros, that's a great little bit of bling if you're a Nurgle or, or Bretonian player. And to be fair, it doesn't actually matter because they are so good. You could use this one for almost any team. So dugouts, score markers, really, really good. So next up, we have a couple of resin tokens. We've got Ogre, Deluxe Markers, so that's uh, score, uh, well, not score, that's reroll and turn markers. And we've got a very chunky Ogre prone and stun marker. So this is six zeros, this is about eight. Let's have a quick look at them. So this is a chunky, chunky piece of kit. As you can see, let's compare it to the height of a human blitzer. Let's get some focus on the go. Um, Look at the detail. So you've got the prone and you've got the stun side. So you can take the big guy off and swap it over. Very, very, very beautiful detail. Decent size. Um, just a little bit smaller than 32 mil, which is probably useful on a pitch. So I think that would even work on the old style pitch, which is really good. Um, so six euros for that. If you've got an Ogre, that's a great bit of bling that will just help you out. And you get to paint it up in your own team schemes. Look at the paint job on that. Magic. And we've got these. So they have a bunch of different designs of um, re-roll and score marker things and this one is the ogre one so we've had like the ogre um, dugout the ogre marker and the ogre turn markers because we're the bonehead podcast so the cool thing is that these come with re-roll slash turn so you can you know you can choose it's got two re-roll sets in it so you can mount it underneath it depending on what kind of token you need for that moment so you can build your own whether it's a turn or a re-roll which I think is a very cool touch because actually there are some people that might just want one of these each of for each of their re-roll markers which I think is you know really really cool and gives you that good bit of flexibility size wise again compared to the blitzer it's big I think it's a bit bigger than the blood bowl 2 tokens so just a little over 32 mil really lovely and look at the cast if we can get the focus to work the sculpt and cast really really well done and the next cool thing we have are some medals so these are cast in resin so for eight euros you get yep yep one of these um, and it comes with uh, there are a variety of inserts so when we first got these we kind of thought well, this is quite cool but actually you you can customize your marker your, your medal for so for prizes for eight euros um, a resin thing with a with an insert to determine your price is really cool so let's have a look at some of the inserts so they are listed on the website as to what they are so clearly that one MVP uh, we've got blocks or punches we've got blocks a third place and what looks like uh, passes, but actually on the website it says assists. So you take the one you want, so and it fits in there. So you mount it in there, then you paint it up as, a, as, a, as an award, which I think is very, very cool. And you know what? Eight euros for uh, you know a surplus prize, so not a trophy, um, is a really cool touch. And there's no reason you couldn't just give one of these as a first place except for the fact obviously this one says third but really really cool decent size again compare it to the blitzer it's huge at first i thought they were ball markers but actually you know what that would be a nightmare but actual medals very cool idea and then we have their scatter template so on the website this is painted really beautifully it's got a cut slightly cartoony look to it but comes out really really nice so size wise it's big enough doesn't get in the way and it matches up with this art superbly which is very cool and the thing I really like about it is you can keep your d8 inside it so you got it to the side of the pitch you can paint it up to match your team um, and you just keep your d8 in the way and then you scatter six it's brilliant actually a really lovely little touch I like that one that is six euros um, so again, if you're looking for a bit of bling or a, or a gift or a Blood Bowl player, this is fantastic. In fact, if it's uh, if you've got someone in your game group whose birthday's coming up, or you're looking for spot prizes, or you know third, fourth, fifth place prizes for for tournaments, 
Chaos Factory has got you covered. Okay, six euros, six euros, eight euros, six euros for this. You know, if you've got 20 quid to spend on the surplus prizes, you can get a couple of these and some sets of dice. Talking of dice, they have sent us to look at some of their dice designs. So these are lovely. They are laser etched. So these are the chaos ones. We've got the dwarf ones. We've got the undead ones. They're very cool. We've got, what are they, orc probably. And some kind of elf. I know Rich would love these. I really love the Chaos ones, really love the Dwarf ones, and they are just lovely dice. They are four euros 50 a piece. So again, this is kind of in the price range for spot prizes. Not cheap enough to provide everybody who attends your tournament, but definitely cheap enough to say, I've got five pounds worth of uh, prize money left over. What can we do? You get a set of dice from these guys. So all in all, we've got some lovely products here. The quality of it all is superb, whether it's the casting quality, the print quality, or, you know, the dice quality. Even the rolls aren't too bad. Die cups, so dice cups, are not something I have ever been interested in. But these are lovely. And if I ever came away with a bit of spare cash or won this at a tournament, I would be absolutely chuffed. In fact, I'd probably say that about all of this. If you're a tournament runner, these are some great bits of bling to give away. If you are a player looking for something to spend some money on that is surplus, so you've got your team, if you want, if you've got a Nurgle team or a Bretonian team or any other team, because they've got these, um, the, the markers and the benches, they're, they're, they're custom. In fact, they've got some pre-order ones at the moment. I think there was a Bretonian one and something else for 10 euros. That's a great price to just top up your team. So anyway, really lovely. So there we have it. Hopefully you can see just how great these products are. Um, they are available at chaosfactoryart.com and um, the prices aren't too bad at all. So if you fancy a treat, head on over there. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.